Hello everyone, this is Alexander from Galileo Sky. In this video I'll tell you how to download data to the device memory card or copy data from the card remotely using WebDAV technology. WebDAV is the set of tools and additions to the HTTP protocol that enables users to collaborate on file editing and file management on remote web servers. Some time ago almost all cloud storage services supported the technology, but now it is supported only by certain services. Therefore, we launched our own WebDAV server. This technology turned out to be extremely convenient for remote work with telematics equipment. To work with files using WebDAV technology, you need an account on one of the servers that supports this technology. Let's create an account on our server, for example. I'll leave a link to the registration on our WebDAV server under this video. So now go to the page and click the register button at the bottom of the dialog box. Enter all the required details. Use up-to-date mail, since the account will need to be confirmed through the letter that will be sent to your email. Confirm your account and that's it. You have a username and password to access the service. Let's now see how to access the cloud service. Usually it is convenient to use file managers for this. For example, the free file manager WinSCP. Download and install the file manager. Let me show you how to access their server using this manager. We launch WinSCP and the program immediately offers to create a connection. In the window that opens, set the following settings. WebDAV transfer protocol, hosting name webdav.7gis.ru, as well as the username and password of your account, and then click Enter. That's it, now you have access to cloud storage. You can put files there that you need to be sent to the device memory card or pick up the files copied from the device. Let's now get familiar with the process of remote file synchronization. To transfer data, the fscene command is used. It requires several parameters. It's better to show the command format with the help of this picture. Two parameters, user and password, are your account details, username and password. Pay attention that in the command format, all parameters that are specified are separated by commas without spaces. Remote is the name of a file or directory on a remote server. If a directory name is specified, then it must end with a slash. Slash is working with files in the root directory or your account on the server. Local is the name of the file or directory on the device's memory card. It works in the same way as the remote parameter. The direction parameter specifies the direction of information transfer. Up is the direction of transferring data from the memory card to the server. Down transfer data from the server to the memory card. The last parameter, keep missing, takes the value true if you need to save files in the final directory when copying files from the specified directory that were not in the source directory at the time of copying. If false, all files in the destination directory that were not copying in the source directory will be deleted. For example, let's try using the fscin command to copy the file keys.bin from the server to the device's memory card. First, let's copy file to the root directory on the server. Now we begin to form the command. We start with the fscin command itself. If you are using the 7gis server, then you need to specify the http two dots slash slash protocol and the webdav dot 7gis.ru server. Next, we write the username and password for our account, separated by commas. Instead of source, specify the location of keys.bin file in the root directory, slash keys.bin. The direction of copying from the server to the memory card is down. The last parameter is set as true. Now we send a command and receive confirmation from the device to accept the command. If you want to know how the file copying process is going on, the fsync start command will help you. This command is sent without parameters. In response, you receive a message about the progress of the fsyn command. Let's see how it works. We already sent the command to copy the file from the server to the device's memory card. Now I'm sending the fsync start command. 
The command was sent and the device started to copy information. Depending on the amount of data being transferred, you can make sure that the required file is presented now on the device's memory card. In one of the previous videos, I already told about the commands for working with a memory card. The link will be in the description. We need the fslist command to see what happened now. Now we send the fslist command space slash. As you can see, the keys.bin file is in the list of files that are on the memory card of our device. Similarly, you can copy files in both directions, both from the server to the device's memory card and from the memory card to the server. You can use these functions for many common tasks. For example, remotely update the list of current driver keys on a group of devices. You also can copy a file with a previously accumulated log for subsequent analysis without gaining access to the equipment. As you can see, this is the extremely useful feature that saves you time and money that would be spent traveling to remote equipment, especially if it is far away. That's all for now. Alexander from Galileo Sky was with you. Goodbye.